Happy Wednesday. I'm sitting in our church parking lot and um, I'm going to call him D. My friend D uh, was living here. He was living in his, in his car in our parking lot. He's been there for weeks. And uh, we tried to get him a hotel and, you know, I've been getting him some food and gas and things like that for his car. Um, but he, and he's been working with the CAC to get housing and, um, and he's not here today. His, his car is not here. And I am praising the Lord because uh, this week was the week. It was supposed to be the week that he signed the papers and he got an apartment and um, it's a new day. It's a new day for him. Two weeks ago on a Sunday, I was preaching on Philemon of all things. And we were doing communion at the end of the message. And um, this man off the street had walked in. Um, I'll call him A. And uh, he, he walked in. Uh, he, you know, he had all his belongings with him. He plugged his his phone into the wall so it could get a charge and, and, uh, he, he was shouting some things as I was preaching, like in a good way, um, which I loved because we need some energy, you know, uh, all churches, we need a little more energy. And so he's, he's yelling, you know, amen and things. And we get to the communion portion of the service and, uh, and I call for the servers to come forward and he's running. He's like, he's coming. He's coming with the servers. He's coming up there and he is ready. He's so ready to take that, that picture, that, that tangible picture of, of Jesus. And, uh, he came to me after the service and he wanted me to pray with him. And, um, we did that and he, he prayed the most authentic prayer. Um, even though he didn't feel like he was good at it and he was, it was just authentic um, and perfect. And he looked at me and he didn't share a lot of his story, but he looked at me and he said, um, you know, I'm, I'm going through this and, and, uh, I've just, I grew up in church and I haven't been in church in a long time and, and I'm here and I just, uh, and I said, Jesus is the restorer of life. He, he is the hope. He is the hope for you. He, he fixes the broken. That's what he does. That's his job. He fixes what's broken. He's a healer. He's a reconciler. He's a restorer. He restores life. And this man looked at me like square in the face. Uh, is that a phrase? Square in the face. That's what he said. That's what he did. He, well, he, intensely. He looked at me intensely <laughs> and he, and he said, do you really believe that? And I looked him square in the face and I said, absolutely. I believe that with everything inside of me. That is, that is who he is. He is the God that restores. He is the God that heals. He's the God that gives you a new day. And I can't stop thinking about him, Jesus, the man, <laughs> Jesus too. Um, I can't stop thinking about him. Um, he hasn't come back yet to grace. And I, I pray to Lord God that he does. Um, but if he doesn't, you know, we're just a seed, right? Like that's our job. We plant seeds and we throw them out there and we say, Lord God, you do with it what you will. You, you grow it how you wish. You know, we're just seed planters. Um, but there's this, Jeremiah, the prophet describes it as this like burning within him, like burning within his bones, like this fire in his bones that he, he can't, he's got to let out. And, um, I feel that because, uh, my friend D back there and my friend A and, um, you and, uh, every person that walks into this church and people at Walmart that I see and people at wherever, um, we just came from the mend house, people, the guys at the mend house. I mean, everybody, uh, is broken. 
my gosh, we're so broken. Like I, I came, I grew up in this beautiful family and, and I'm, I'm broken. Um, and Jesus is the only thing that can fix it. I believe that with everything in me. He's the only, he is the one that fixes. And if you've been through something in life and you've been saved, you've been delivered, you've been um, restored, you've been given a new chance or a new day or a new vision, if, if you have had that happen to you in your life, that is Jesus. Whether we acknowledge it or not, it, he is the source of what restores us. And we may know his name and we may acknowledge his name or we may not. You know what? The Lord God reigns good on all of his people, on all that he has created. Um, every good and perfect thing comes from him. Uh, whether we say that it's him and acknowledge him or whether we don't, it's all from him. Um, so I say that to you today to say, um, may we be people that connect the goodness of our lives to Jesus or, and if you are going through something and you are broken and you need healing and you need salvation and you need to be delivered and you need to be set free. If that is you, I am, I am saying to you from every fiber that is burning inside of me, I'm saying to you, Jesus is the answer to that. He is the answer to that. I am, I am always here to hear your story and to, and to be with you and to sit with you in it and to help you connect. Where is God, Danielle? Where is he? What, what is he doing? There's nothing. I'm always here to be the person that can sit with you and help you connect the dots because the Lord God is he is ready to set you free and he's ready to draw near to you. He, he is constantly drawing near to us. We just were blind. <laughs> we we're blind. I love you friends. I love you. Um, I'm always here and I, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you see God in it. I hope you see God in today. Because every good thing is from him. Every good thing. Love you. Bye. Have a great day.